All right, in this video, we're going to customize the wedding RSVP form. It's possible that one of the templates is going to be exactly what you need, but chances are that you're going to want to make some changes to what's provided. So we're going to make a couple changes. We're going to put in a field that asks if there are any allergies. Uh, some people have a fish allergy and can't have uh, chicken that was prepared on the same cutting board as fish. So we're going to add some radio buttons right there. We'll click here and we'll say we'll have the option for yes and no. We'll set the default to no. Then we're going to add a text field right under it and say, please list your food allergies. Then we'll save this field. And then for the text field for food allergies, we'll go to conditional logic and we'll say, show this field if do you have any food allergies equals yes. Click update. Now let's preview it real quick. So you can see our field is not there until we click yes. And there it is. Now we also want to allow for more than one guest. Right now we have guest name first and last and then the guest meal selection. So we're going to put a repeater right here, and we're going to mimic this and then get rid of these. So the first thing we want is a text for guest name. And another one right here. And then last name. Now we also want to put in field description of last. And under guest name first. Then we also want to mimic the guest meal selection. So we go back to radio buttons. We'll say guest meal selection. And our options are chicken, fish, and salad. There we are. We have mimicked this section. So now we can delete these. So now let's update and check out our preview again. Uh, we left the word repeater. We don't want that. So let's go back and change that. And then, you know what? Let's throw in some additional logic. Before, the guest information was there regardless of whether it was yes or no. But let's say, show this field if, are you bringing a guest? equals yes. There, now our form is actually quite short unless they choose things like food allergies and then are you bringing a guest? Yes. Guest name, etc. And then you click add and there's another guest. And we did not set a limit. We should set a limit because you don't want too many guests. So let's click our repeater. We'll go to advanced. And then right here, we'll set our repeat limit. We'll say three guests. So let's review or reload this again. We'll say, yes, we're bringing a guest. And we should be able to click one, two. There's our third one. And we do not have an add button anymore. 
So now we've taken our wedding RSVP form and we've included a food allergies section and made it so that it's possible for multiple guests. Now I want to show you one more thing. We should also ask about the allergies thing for our guests. So right here, I can click duplicate field and then use this little dragger to put it right here. And then we can say, does this guest have any food allergies? Then we can do something similar. Duplicate this one and drag it right below and say, please list food allergies. Click update. Reload, bring any guests, yes. Here are our food allergies, but let's try and hide this one with conditional logic as well. Does this guest have any food allergies? Click update, reload. Yes, we're bringing a guest. Field is not there. We say yes, this one does. Uh, lettuce is our food allergy. And then this guest has no, and so the field is not there. So, as you can see, we can really craft this field or this form to be what we want rather than what we were given. Uh, but we were we jumped way ahead by having these other fields created. Uh, there's all kinds of other logic going on and things like that. So that's a demonstration of how you can take an existing form template and recraft it a little bit into something that fits your needs better.